There are actually several risk factors for liver cancer, and in the United States, the most common cause of liver cancer is hepatitis C, um, related cirrhosis, or NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. That seems to be an increasing reason why people get liver cancer now. In some patients, there are hereditary reasons why they get it. They might have hemochromatosis, and there are other patients who get liver cancer for reasons we don't fully understand. Patients from Asia are often at risk for human hepatitis B virus, and those patients can get liver cancer at a relatively younger age, in their 30s, 40s even. And for those patients, screening with an ultrasound and an alpha fetoprotein, which is a blood test, is recommended at routine intervals. In the United States, for the general population, the baby boomers are at high risk for having hepatitis C due to some high-risk behaviors in the 60s and 70s. And for those patients, screening is recommended to look for hepatitis C and treat it. Um, further, patients who have a history of alcohol use and have had abnormal liver functions are also offered screening to catch cancer early should it be present. By treating the virus or preventing getting hepatitis in the first place, liver cancer can be prevented. And the way that this is done is by getting the full course of vaccines for human hepatitis B. Now that we have really effective treatments for hepatitis C, we're treating the hepatitis, we're getting rid of the hepatitis, and hopefully in some years to come, we will see the impact it has had in reducing the risk of getting liver cancer from hep C.